Craig Fugate is the former administrator of FEMA. He also served as Florida's emergency man management director. He's now a senior advisor at Blue Dot Strategies. Craig, always good to see you. Good morning. Good morning. Back in 2014, Craig, you said that if Florida or Miami were to take a direct hit from a hurricane the size of Katrina or Sandy, it won't survive. You've seen the track. You know the size of this storm. What are your fears? Well, hopefully everybody's evacuating. And again, they can go shorter distances. They don't have to leave the area, but they need to get out of those storm surge areas. But those high rises and a lot of construction, we're going to see a tremendous amount of damage based upon this forecasted track. Well, Craig, will you explain to us right now what's going on with FEMA? Take us into the war room. Describe like what the operations are like right now. They're moving and trying to pre-stage everything they can uh, to get ready for the initial response back in to Florida, supporting Governor Scott and the, uh, the team here in Florida, the Florida National Guard and all the first responders. Uh, but the challenge is going to be Florida's peninsula. So as much as people are having trouble going north, it's going to be just about as difficult heading south particularly as damage starts in the southern part of the state. But that forecast track has a hurricane going right up the middle of the state. So those highways are going to have a hurricane on it before you can even get to the people that are being hit by the storm in the beginning. So pre-staging, getting things set. But the other thing they're, they're having to factor in is how much is this storm going to slow down or prevent immediate response based upon where it's at on these highways. And Craig, we look at this and we can't help but think about FEMA and how stretched thin it must be. Mm -hmm. There are wildfires out west. There's obviously the Hurricane Harvey recovery efforts. And now this. You're a veteran of those enjoyable Washington funding battles. Does FEMA have enough money? Would you be worried if you were in your old job? Well, the Congress gets the supplemental. That gives the cash for the immediate response. Obviously, we're going to need more money or FEMA's going to need more money for Harvey. Now with Irma, I think Congress is going to have to take some uh, hard looks at how we fund disasters, reauthorization of the National Flood Assurance Program, and make sure that when we rebuild, we're not just building it back the way it was. We have got to build a future risk. I'm tired of people debating climate change. It ain't about climate change anymore. It's about climate adaptation. We have to build for our future risk. Our past is not the best indicator of what these risks have been. We've seen it time and time again. We build it back. It gets destroyed. We've got to do better this time. Uh, Craig, your insight's mm -hmm. valuable. Thank you very much for your time this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you.